so cold. Okay, well, I don't know if you guys can tell. I guess if you live in Arizona, then you can probably tell. But I am back in Arizona. I'm back in America. This like literally just happened. I landed late last night. It's now Sunday, so I got home last night, Saturday. And it took me three full days to get home. I'm exhausted. I woke up at like two in the morning and I was like wide awake. I was ready to like get started with my day. My sleep schedule is definitely way off, but that's to be expected. So you guys are probably wondering if I'm back for good, like what's my plan? Why am I back? Um, and you know, I have come to the conclusion that I am kind of done making plans and also telling people, which is why this is how everyone is finding out that I'm back. It's because I just didn't tell anyone because I have discovered that my life is very um, spontaneous and that's just the way that I'm living right now. And I'm totally okay with that. I love living spontaneously. I love not knowing what's going on. I think I'm just kind of done telling people like what my plans are because I don't know I mean I bought my tickets back home probably like it was at the end of January and I mean like a week and a half later I was so close to canceling them because I wanted to stay in Thailand but I am back now it's super bittersweet I was really sad leaving Thailand and it like really hit me when I landed in America yesterday it like really hit me how sad I am to be gone. I really miss Thailand, but I just, I don't see it as a goodbye. I think I'll be there again later in life. I loved it way too much. It honestly became another home to me. So I know I'll be back there at some point in my life again, but I am back now. And honestly, I, I think part of the reason is because I'm trying to make this adult decision to get myself the rest of the way out of debt and to build a really good savings so that hopefully I'll be able to leave again and just have more options while I travel. If you watched my financial video, you know that like I am in a pretty tight situation financially. So it really did, um, it made, made it pretty hard for me to be able to travel and be a little bit more free. I mean, I was like okay with it because I was just happy to be in Thailand. And I think that I've expressed that enough on my channel that I was just thankful for the opportunity to live in a different country. And I will never feel differently about that. I like I would not take back anything that I did. I was so happy to just live there. But in the future, when I start traveling again, I would like to have a more comfortable financial situation so that I can do more. And I don't have to be like stressed about things that I decide to do. Right now I'm back and I know everyone's probably gonna ask me what the plan is. Honestly, I don't really know. Um, I don't know. I'm someone who really follows like my gut feeling and just, I think that's what I'm doing. I mean, I was having this feeling all through January that I should come back home and I was really like iffy about it and I was just ignoring it because I really didn't want to come back home. I wanted to stay in Thailand. I mean, my original plan was to be there for a year. I know that's kind of hard to believe though because I'm someone who is constantly moving. I'm constantly changing where I'm living. So part of me is not surprised that I'm back. <laughs> And I don't know if I'm gonna stay in Arizona. I honestly have no idea what the plan is. Like, I literally don't know. I'm trying to be as upfront with you guys and trying to keep you updated, but I seriously, I don't know what the plan is. But I'll keep you guys in the loop. I have some job interviews going on this week and I think it just depends on those, you know, what jobs I'm offered and yeah. So it just all depends where life takes me and honestly i'm so excited to see what my next chapter holds i'm excited to be back it like i said it's bittersweet i'm really sad to not be in thailand anymore i mean the more i think about it and the more i like look at pictures i'm like <laughs> i miss it but it is nice to be back in america after being really sick for like three weeks i lost a lot of muscle and i have never felt so unhealthy before and it was really a difficult thing for me to fix that in Thailand so that is one reason I'm really happy to be back in America is that I can really take control of my diet and really just gain back some muscle and just get back into a healthy state because I've never I've never felt like this before and so I feel like in America I have a little bit more freedom as far as like grocery shopping and like being able to eat what is going to be really good for my body 
I mean, my diet in Thailand was really just rice and noodles. Do you want meat with that or do you want veggies with that? And that was about it. I think that overall, I think it was the right decision. I don't know why I was getting that feeling of coming back, but I think it'll become very clear to me in the future. But you know, I'm just, I'm not one to really fight feelings. I don't know. I think some people think I'm weird that a lot of my decisions are based off of just like my gut feeling and just, I don't know. I don't know if it's like the hippie side of me or what, but I just, that's kind of how I make bigger decisions in my life is just based on how I feel about it. I think those feelings should not be ignored because you're obviously feeling them for, for a reason. So yes, I am back in America and I'm excited to be back. You know, I'm excited to just go on more adventures and see where life takes me. So yeah, don't forget to like this video and to subscribe if you're not already and I'll see you guys in my next one. I'm pulling my